just the, the, the growth that, that your guys showed, I asked Lincoln the same thing a little bit ago. I, I know that the win is great, but you also want to see your, your guys grow and, uh, and, and improve and, and do some things that you're looking for. Uh, I, I just need your take on whether you saw that from your guys this afternoon. Yeah, and, and like you said, I mean, number, number one is get the win. I mean, winning's hard, and, and, and in some ways we've proved how hard it is this year, right? And so um, that, that's obviously number one. Um, you know, we continue to talk about, you know, we haven't played our best football game, but that, that's an opinion thing. That, that is based on what we think we can be, and ultimately what you produce, uh, you know, each Saturday is ultimately what you are. And so um, it's one thing to say. It's another thing to um, obviously uh, – uh, continue to improve and so I, I certainly certainly think there's some some improvements and, and you know you watch the video and obviously there, there's certain plays you get awfully frustrated by you know I continue to get frustrated by you know just individual plays and, and uh, kind of a, a the lack of tackle attempt if that makes sense you know as opposed to a true missed tackle where you're um, <clears throat> attempting to bring a guy to the ground and you, and, and you fail to do so you know and, and Defensive football is hard, but it's a whole lot harder if you don't attempt to tackle. And so there's just a couple examples of that. And they create, they, they create explosive plays. And we got to give more credit to our opponent um, in, in, in terms of their ability to, to run through those things. Um, and so I, and, uh, um, I, certainly there's other issues, uh, but th those, those stand out. And that's something that's got to get corrected. Let's go to John Hoover. I'm here. Hear me okay? Yeah, gotcha. Okay, great. So I'm wondering, Alex, if uh, along those lines of growth and maturity, if, if, if maybe oversimplifying things to suggest that this team is growing up from one possession to the next. In other words, uh, 17 nothing out there real quick again, and all of a sudden you guys are a replay review away from it being 17 14. And instead of kind of wilting in that moment, you guys kind of took momentum, gained, gained some new momentum, and took off and separated. Is that signs of growth right there just within get, the game itself? Oh, I think it is. And I, and I think also, you know, it's a great point. You know, every, every possession kind of has a life of its own. And so, um, you know, it, it, it's important that we attack it in that way. And, and the, the scoreboard, how it reads at that particular moment, you know, should not have any impact on, on what that drive uh, happens to be for us. And, 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 and um, you know, there's video evidence over the, 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 the first several weeks that, that it has a tendency to have an impact on how we play. And so that's, just, that's something that obviously that, that we'll continue to work to, to get correct. And I also would say this, that not every scoring drive, obviously you never want to score any points um, or limit as much as you can, but not every scoring drive to me is weighted the same way. You know, is it a, a, a battle to, to the very end? So I think about a fourth and one, you know, opportunity today uh, in the red zone. And I'm, I'm, I'm ticked off that, you know, we, we uh, kind of had a bust there in terms of gap integrity, which, which has to get corrected. But then the same token, it's like we, 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 you grind that one out. And then there, there's other possessions where obviously that's not the case. But um, I, I, I do. I think it's, it's uh, incredibly important that, that we, we attack it that way in terms of how we approach it with our guys. Um, you know, seven points on the board, and then making sure also that you don't create a scenario where here we go again. You know, we, we've been here before, and it's like, okay, well, wait a second. Are we waiting for the, the, the other shoe to drop? And obviously that's a responsibility on us, us as coaches to, uh, you know, make, make sure that doesn't take place. And so um, I, I think there's some growth. I, I absolutely do, you know, just as you, as you approach specifically the second half. Um, but, but obviously, you know, more, uh, uh, there's a lot more out there for us. Well, I mean, I think it's been critical, and I, and, I, and I think you know some of it is you know evidenced by the first couple games. I remember having the conversation uh, at, at at some point with you all in terms of you know what, what the fatigue level is, and, and um, I, I think that, that that has contributed. You know, and I, and I think also it, it's something that uh, you know our, there's a uh, you know level of play that's expected over 60 minutes is very difficult to do at any position uh, at, at at our level, and so to. To rotate guys in as much as anything, just just the it may not be a physical break as much as just a mental break, you know. To to have a couple snaps on the sideline to kind of uh, you know kind of redial, refocus uh, before going back in there is critical. Now now again, th those individuals that come in the game, you got to perform at a certain level, 
and that's something obviously that we continue to evaluate. And then also the messages, you know, to, to those individuals that you know you quote unquote are one, you know, number one in our defense is saying, you know, your, your mindset's got to be performing at a level that Coach Grinch would never take you out of the game. So there's something for both both levels on this thing. So if you're a two, you're saying you're fighting every single day in practice to perform at a level that say we're going to put you in a game, and you're fighting for one more one more you know one more rotation, one more series, one more you know whatever it is. And then those ones, you know, the message to them is you know you're, you're fighting to make sure that that backup doesn't see the field, and that's that level of competition that that the elite. Uh, defenses and league programs have, and so that's something we're trying to create. And obviously, we're still in the infant stages of it, but but it's been good to rotate more guys uh, the, these last couple of weeks. Brandon, Brandon Drum. Yeah, Alex, uh, can you talk about the defensive line? Uh, it seems like they've really picked up their play over the last couple of weeks, and just how much of that is not just Isaiah Thomas and his overall growth, but just Ellison and Perry Winfrey and seeing the game slow down. Yeah, I just just very disruptive up front. Uh, I mean, and you see the impact specifically in the run game, but also obviously in the pass game. Um, it, it makes it very difficult for offenses, you know, have have the confidence level that we're going to hand that thing off into th this group of guys, right? And so um, that that's been been a positive. It. it uh, uh, you know, you have a chance, and I'm not claiming that we're there yet by any stretch, but to try to make a team one-dimensional, that is a goal. Uh, they obviously got to hold up in the pass game as well. And so those individuals you mentioned up front are just as involved in, in that respect. Um, but been pleased. I mean, you talk about rotation. That, that's a group that's kind of been, uh, you know, rotating uh, here over the last few weeks and really seeing, you know, quality play by, uh, you know, you say by committee, and sometimes that sounds like a negative, but but it's one of those things when we talk about rotations every Thursday, you know, it, it's, okay, we're going to rotate like we did last week, yes. And then you know what that means. You're, you're talking about five, uh, you know, five guys in the interior. You're talking about, you know, five to six guys on, on, on the edges. And so uh, that's something that I've got to continue, and you'd like to have that at every spot. But that, that's been uh, a real positive force and something that's got to continue. Yeah. Just moving forward in their confidence level. Well, I, I think it has to, and 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 again, I'll I'll, I'll say it, it. It's it's hard to win football games. It, it, it is, um, and and I'll also say we we made it look awfully hard, uh, you know, through through X number of weeks this year. And so, uh, but there's lessons there, you know. And every team is different. Um, you, you like to say, you know, maybe we can learn from, uh, again, show them clips of NFL football and say we're going to learn the lesson in terms of finishing games. Well, sometimes you have to go through it yourself. Uh, you like to think you only got to go through it once, and that that uh, obviously has not been the case for us. Um, but at the same token, again, every team's different, you know, from a maturity standpoint. And you know, the biggest thing is obviously as coaches, you you you, you point the finger at yourself and say, where, where am I missing? You know, is, is you know, in an attempt to to raise the standard, I'll give you an example. In an attempt to to raise the standard of the defense at Oklahoma, am I creating too much of an issue that uh, uh, you know we're, we're uh, uh, you know, it may be a little bit uh, um, in a position where one play might might break us, you know, or one drive might break us. Am I creating, like I mentioned earlier, here we go again mentality uh, in my guys? And so that that's something I got to look at. You know, it, it, when you identify a problem, you know, every single one of us on, on this can identify the problem. The, the key is, okay, how do we fix it? Um, and so I think you saw signs of it today. I do. Um, and, and just... I think the, 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 the touchdown story to the end, I mean, you're not convincing the guys that that's a frustrating thing to, to you know, give up seven points in, in the fourth quarter. But also understand that you know, the, the bulk of the second half guys performed at uh, uh, a fairly high level. And so uh, always a work in progress, but uh, uh, no, that, uh, it'd be inappropriate to, to say that, that, that you didn't see progress today. Last, last question, James Hill. Alex, you won the line of scrimmage today. Uh, that had to be, you know, really a plus for you and your play calling and things like that. John Michael Terry, a lot of different players made plays up front, but you won the line of scrimmage, and that's always a positive, isn't it? Well, well, it is, and, and it's very difficult to have any success if you don't. Um, and then you kind of have a vision in your head every week in terms of what that might look like based on video study uh, and those things. But, but you know, obviously you got to ultimately perform on Saturday game day. And so, uh, no, that, that's something that we, that we continue to, to, to always talk about. We talk about how physical and our opponent. 
Um, you know, if, if, you, if you're equal from a physical standpoint, you got a shot. Obviously, if you're minus from a physical standpoint, uh, it, it's going to go the other way. And so, um, no, it, it uh, again, talk about, you know, trying to make teams one dimensional, um, which, which, you know, you got to be smart in that way because you want to turn this into a seven on seven game. But again, that, that, that physical play that you mentioned is not just in the run game, but obviously it's included in the pass game. And um, so that, that's something obviously we, uh, we'd like to continue.